Ladies and gentlemen, good afternoon to everyone. <clears throat> I am thankful to the organizers as well as Sky for giving me the opportunity to speak on this subject, a role of imaging in calcified lesions. Lately, many technological advancements for calcified coronary lesions, higher procedural success and lower periprocedural complications have been achieved. There are combination of factors, not only the imaging that has contributed a lot, but also the different kind of hardwares that have been used during the procedure, like NC balloon scoring and cutting balloon sortational atherectomy, then more recently orbital atherectomy, they have also contributed to a great extent and have given a lot of advantage. The intravascular imaging, like IVAS, integrated uh, backscatter IVAS with color mapping, virtual histology IVAS, imaging and OCT have drastically changed the perception and execution in anatomical pathobiological therapies, altering the outcome of the PCI in a cal very, very calcified lesion significantly. But even if there have been a lot of data, encouraging data, in fact, in real world scenario, the dedicated devices for the treatment of calcified lesions are grossly underutilized. Because of the fact that there is a perceived greater procedural risk in the hands of inexperienced operators and operation costs, uh, especially in the lower middle income group of countries, may be quite uh, prohibitive. Now this is the timeline of the various imaging techniques that have been uh, developed over a period, uh, uh, over a few decades rather, and uh, starting with uh, IVAS initially, then gradually the IVAS got the recognition in the form of class 2A recommendation in, in 2014. Then OCT also was recommended uh, with the, uh, with the uh, various uh, trial results uh, to class 2A combination. But again in 2023, with the various facts and various data that have accumulated, the 2023 SC guideline has classified IVAS as a class 1A indication. So we must take into account this particular fact, the elevation of IVAS. It means that it's a feasible technique, it's a safe technique, and it can be utilized more and more. Now to talk about the very various types of calcification, which may start with inflamed high-risk plaque like inflammation and microcalcification, and ultimately they can be converted to uh, stabilized plaque with the macro calcification. And once they rupture, especially in the inflamed high-risk plaque, then only the catastrophic uh, thing like myocardial infarction can happen. This is a representative uh, tative image and video using different imaging techniques and uh, not only the CAG but also uh, uh, the uh, IVAS which was very much uh, uh, revealing about the concentric calcification and uh, that was managed effective effectively. Now, there are different kinds of calcium, like superficial calcium or deep calcium. Again, superficial calcium can be small calcium, large calcium with reverberation, and also calcific nodules. And there could be also different, uh, deep uh, calcium. Now, all of these types of calcium uh, can have uh, different implications, especially in the management of coronary artery disease. Apart from these, the various other Im uh, various imaging techniques, uh, apart from IVAS, which is very, very commonly used, uh, the, the OCT is, of course, the next group of uh, tests, and that can actually reveal, uh, or all of this can reveal various other calcifications like eccentric or concentric, then whether there is a, it's a weak, thick calcium or thin calcium, whether it is superficial or deep, then of course the nodules as I t uh, told. Uh, similarly, the length of the calcium also can be determined with the IVAS or OCT. 
these are the classifications of uh, 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 I, uh, calcified nodules type 1 to type 5 and all can be picked up by the, both the techniques that is the IVAS as well as the uh, OCT. Then you can see that the, I, both the OCT and IVAS can have huge implication in the overall management in a severely uh, calcified, uh, uh, calcified coronary artery. And here you can see the OCT mage uh, showing deep circumferential calcium with well-defined borders and IVAS imaging showing the calcium ring that is highly echogenic. Same uh, as the uh, IVA scoring system, uh, the OCT also give, uh, can give the calcium scoring uh, and uh, uh, the, the patterns are same. You have to take care of the angle, you have to take uh, into account the calcium thickness and the length and based on this you can score which is uh, if it is more then definitely the chances of uh, various uh, uh, complications are more and that will be more challenging. Now, these are again some of the representative images of plaque modification using OCT and you can see that uh, when uh, it's, a, it's a very, very uh, complex situation, in that case, the OCT can give a very beautiful image and uh, 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 that image can guide you to uh, put the right kind of uh, 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 hardware and not only that, the, uh, uh, after the, uh, step, um, after the uh, uh, the plaque has been modified. If you if you uh, uh, the dilate the or uh, dilate the stand and position the stand, there will be less chance of malposition and good exp uh, and uh, there will be good expansion with the following the imaging techniques. Same thing, plaque modification by imaging, both by high definition IVAS versus OCT. And uh, there are some certain overlapping features in both the techniques. Now, when we know about the IVAS as well as the uh, OCT so much, at least uh, recently, uh, there are certain techniques in IVAS like uh, 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 like uh, the high definition IVAS as I have told then also vascular imaging also uh, can be done with the uh, uh, virtual histology in case of IVAS and at the same time the fusion technique of IVAS and OCT also can be done and they can give uh, much more better uh, images uh, so that you can visualize the uh, defects in a much better uh, uh, way. Now there are certain comparisons uh, between the uh, imaging modalities in detection of calcium and there are certain advantages and disadvantages also. I'll talk about the IVAS as versus the uh, OCT and uh, in case of IVAS uh, usually very less or no contrast medium is uh, required. Superficial and deep calcium is detected. Semi-quantitative grading of calcium distribution and localization uh, as well as length are done. Whereas the disadvantage is obviously it is invasive. Deep calcium is hidden by acoustic shadow. Microcalcifications are not detected and unable to assess the calcium thickness. On the other hand, OCT, very high resolution, calcium thickness can be measured, quantitative grading of calcium distribution, localization thickness can be done and microcalcifications also can be detected. And vis-a-vis uh, -vis the disadvantages are obviously this uh, invasive technique, contrast medium uh, is used to a great extent and limited depth of penetration. Now, using this technique that is the low contrast or less contrast uh, in case of IVAS, IVAS is more beneficial or more useful rather than OCT when you are thinking that you should not use the uh, dye in more quantity, especially in the, in the anticipated case of uh, the nephropathy, contrast-induced nephropathy or even in CKD cases where minimal dye should be used. The other uh, implications of imaging in calcified lesions are detection of coronary artery calcium, localization of coronary artery calcium and quantification and all these can be uh, done by uh, IVAS 
then uh, IVAS, uh, uh, vascular histology, and OCT. And uh, uh, um, definitely, OCT has got better uh, uh, optimal detection uh, as compared to the other modalities. Now, uh, this is to show you the similarity and differences. Uh, obviously, both are more or less similar, both are more, the, more or less feasible, and only in few cases there could be very good results with OCT, as I have already told that when you are to use very low uh, amount of contrast, there the IVAS is scoring over the uh, OCT, but when uh, you are uh, going to have the knowledge of the calc calcification, location, thickness, deep, uh, and microcalcification, then definitely OCT is going to give you more advantage. Now, this is one of the uh, article uh, which has been published uh, recently, and uh, they have got given enough uh, uh, scope uh, to know about what is the usage of the uh, of the IVAS or uh, the various technologies during the PCI. In fact, this has shown that uh, uh, the uh, the percentage use in case of whether IVAS, uh, IVAS or OCT is very very less even today. And uh, recently, in 2023, in India, we uh, also presented our data. There also we found that the penetration of I IVAS and OCT, both are same. I don't think it will be much uh, more different in, in other parts of Asia. Now, incidence rate ratios of each endpoint, again, uh, is, uh, uh, it, it is to show the combined endpoints of revascularization and all cause mortality of patients with angiography. And definitely, uh, over the angiography, the imaging techniques show better results. The summary from the study was, among the uh, five uh, uh, lakh uh, patients, uh, Medicare beneficiaries in US undergoing PCI, IVAS and OCT were used infrequently. And compared with angiography use, the use of intracoronary imaging during index PCI was associated with lower rates of clinical events through three years. Another study by, uh, done uh, by Dr. Minge, who is present over here, intravascular imaging for percutaneous coronary intervention, guidance and optimization, the evidence of improved patient outcomes was also published, and that showed that IVAS-guided PCI was much more beneficial as compared to the angiography-guided uh, PCI. And uh, uh, definitely, the meta-analysis uh, reporting major adverse cardiac events after uh, days, uh, there was a more beneficial effect uh, in, uh, in favor of OCT versus IVAS, and uh, same way, OCT versus angiography guidance. Uh, then uh, the IVAS versus angiography guidance shows, uh, of course, the more beneficial effect of the IVAS. But having said all these, Having said all, uh, as having presented all this data, the uh, the uh, 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 the uh, penetration or usage of the of the technique is definitely not at uh, was desirable. This is the uh, presentation done recently in the ESC Congress and uh, primary analysis uh, with uh, uh, many trials in using IVAS uh, uh, imaging versus angio, IVAS versus angio, OCT versus angio, OCT versus uh, IVAS, and all this showed the greater benefit uh, except the OCT versus I, uh, IVAS, where it was shown that direct uh, benefit was not significant and network benefit was also not significant and uh, in fact the indirect evidence was uh, was more uh, more, uh, uh, more more harmful rather than useful and same the target lesion failure uh, as uh, it was compared with the meta analysis of nine tri trials including the octavas again showed the the better efficacy of oct versus ivas and uh, this is this was also presented by capadino in the esc congress 
The first comment was supported by evidences from clinical trials and meta-analysis. I was consistently showed substantial reduction in major uh, cardiovascular events. This foundation supports the elevation of IVAS to uh, be class one recommendation, at least in complex lesions. Evidence for OCT is accumulating, but as of today, it remains less persuasive. IVAS and OCT should be seen as complementary rather than mutually exclusive techniques. Remaining questions include, who are the optimal candidates for IVAS or OCT? Strategic timing of their use, which one is preferable, and the perspectives of healthcare payers uh, and regulators, particularly in countries where uh, IVAS uh, or IV uh, imaging is not reimbursed. Now, these are certain um, uh, calcium modifying dev devices. I'm not going into the detail of it because it will be talked about in much gra uh, uh, greater length. Same way, calcium modification treatment algorithm here. The importance of showing this slide is that IVAS and OCT both can show the mild nature of calcification or moderate or severe nature of calcification and their uh, severity and accordingly you can strategize, you can do the appropriate uh, interventional techniques, use the higher uh, kind of uh, interventional techniques, not only the, the rotaplation, uh, atherectomy, orbital atherectomy or uh, the, uh, the uh, uh, so ultrasound uh, uh, or laser techniques that uh, will be determined by these uh, uh, the technologies. So to conclude, the take home points are with the increasing complexity of calcific coronary artery disease is treated with PCI. The use of adjunctive devices to ensure optimal stent implantation is key for iterative improvement in terms of both technical and clinical outcomes. The techniques could be balloon-based strategies, including the recently developed IVL balloon, atheroablative solutions such as rotational, orbital, or laser atherectomy. The systematic use of intracoronary imaging like IVAS, which has been uh, more useful as has been shown in ESC 2023 than OCT is a key to improving our understanding about lesion morphology and to provide guidance about the choice of modification strategy on a case to case basis and may promote improved technical success and patient safety. Thank you very much for patient hearing.